Well, howdy, gentle partners. This is Vindian welcoming you to Great Western Trail, a game about delivering cows all the way from Texas up to Kansas City. And I will not be doing the voice again, but I, I thought it would be appropriate to introduce this game that way. Um, it is designed by Alexander Pfister of Eggert Spiele. And beautiful backdrop, by the way. Uh, if you've been here, I think it's in Arizona. Drop a comment and let me know exactly where it is, because I'd like to go there someday. It looks really pretty. Uh, I've always liked the Southwest. I've been to New Mexico uh, a couple times, and I really liked it. Um, maybe I'll move there someday. We'll see. Uh, I'm doing the last couple seconds of cleanup, and then we will start playing the game. So, as I said in my horrible, horrible accent, this is a game in which two to four players take herds of cattle from Texas all the way up to Kansas City. Um, it is a deck builder um, at its heart combined with a rondel. Uh, a rondel, if you're not familiar with the game term, is where you go around the same board multiple times. Uh, and which spaces you go onto is which actions you get. Um, there we go. Perfect. Um, I want to thank the maker of this mod. It's really good. Um, it's not the best because the cleanup is a little bit messy, uh, when you are putting together the game. Um, in particular because it doesn't do a great job of hiding the expansion pieces. And if you want to play with the expansion, it's easier. If you don't, there's like all this extra stuff here. That just doesn't matter. Go away, Station Master Tiles. Um, and the market set up. Ooh, boy, I guess. Hope you want Craftsman. I don't know why it says Craftsman. That's a, a typo, but other than that, the game is, is solid. Um, so, I need to draw a hand of four cards for each of the two players, and then we'll just start playing the game. Um, and we'll explain what happens as the game proceeds. So, first of all, when you get from the start of the game, let me actually put our, our cattlemen there. Up to Kansas City, which is up here in the top left of the board, you deliver your cows. You get credit for every cow that is unique. For instance, in this herd, I would earn $5. This other jersey wouldn't count because I already have a jersey. Um, every cow must be different. The number value doesn't matter in terms of it being different. So, for instance, the Dutch Belt and the Guernsey are two different cows. They're different colors um, and probably used for different purposes. So... Um, this hand would earn me $5 when I get up there. For every turn, you decide whether you want to move one, two, or three spaces. When you go to the space, you do whatever it says on the space, and then you proceed uh, to the next player's turn. Each turn tends to go pretty quickly, um, especially early on in the game, but once the board gets more cluttered with other spaces, um, then... The game slows down a little bit. Uh, please note that only buildings count as spaces. So, for instance, if White wanted to go three spaces, he'd be going one, two, three. Uh, the game ends when this token here gets pushed off the board. And I'll explain how that happens when we start going to Kansas City. Um, and then everyone gets, I believe, one more turn when that happens. Let me double check that. Um, that's the final scoring. End of the game. Ah, oh, that is that person's last turn. And then the other player gets an additional turn. For the first turn of the game, you can actually start on any space you want to. Um, but I have kind of a crappy hand in terms of going to Kansas City. So I'm just going to, we'll just start at the beginning. So you also have these player boards that will get upgraded over the course of the game, making you more powerful, able to do more exciting things. 
Uh, and I'll talk about the rest of the game uh, as it happens. So I don't know about you. I just want to get started. Do note the objective cards here. Um, as the blue white player, I want to have one uh, number three cow, one number four cow, and a building constructed at the end of the game. Uh, meanwhile, the blue player wants two station master spots and a green TP. Uh, if you don't get these uh, objectives, it doesn't hurt. You just don't get the points for them. Um, and the points can be quite significant. So, let us begin. What would a white like to do? So, um, he doesn't want to go to this space, does he? Does he want to get involved in building? He just need to build at least one building. Mm. Man, this card sucks. This is like a terrible building. I don't know why you would ever build it. You have to discard. Uh, yeah, I would never use this card. I'd use this tile, rather. Oh, I wouldn't say never, even in very specific circumstances. Um, I'm thinking aloud, uh, but I'll explain what I'm thinking about, because right now I'm just trying to figure out where I should go. Do I want to get a building this early? Or do I want to save money? Where is hiring people? It's up here. Yeah, so I'm going to start going one, two, and stop here. So, every tile has at least two things you can do on it. Some have more. Um, you can either do the local actions or you can take an auxiliary action, which are on the left side of your board here. Uh, the auxiliary actions are kind of, I don't know what else to do. I'll just do one of these. Uh, generally speaking, you want to avoid taking them unless there's a good reason to do it. So, I have a choice on the left-hand side. I can take a certificate or take an objective card. Notice that all the other objective cards in the game actually cost you points if you don't complete them. I'm not ready to, to commit to any of these yet. I'm going to take a certificate. And these add value to your herd at the end of uh, when you get to Kansas City if you want to use them. Now I do the second half. This says I move my train for each of my engineers. I've only got one, the one printed on my board. So I'm going to go one. Trains are a way to get Station Master tiles and to uh, send your cows further and further west until you get to San Francisco, which is the most viable location in the game. Uh, and just like that, my turn is over. Uh, and then I switch over to Blue. Um, what does Blue want to do? Who doesn't really care about building? Um, like none of these level one buildings are that great. I mean, another cattle market could be quite handy. But right now, none of us have really started investing in any particular strategy. So I think skipping buildings is smart for both players. Is he going to do the same thing the white did? Yes, he is. Now, you can have as many people on a space as you want to. Um, this isn't like a work replacement game. You're not blocking the spot. But the trains are different. Trains leapfrog uh, if another train is in their way. So he's going to go a boop right to two. Because that's what trains do in, in real life, right? They leapfrog. Um, hmm. I don't think that's how that works. Okay, white is going to come up here. And he's going to pay himself $2, or he's going to get $2 for discarding this Guernsey. And then he gets a chance to build up to two people, or hire two people. The first one would cost six. The second would be, or sorry, these all cost six. The first would cost whatever the cost here is. The second would be that amount plus an additional $2. 
Gee, I can have a craftsman or a craftsman. I guess I'll take a craftsman. Uh, and then that's going to cost me $6 redos. These let you do more things at certain parts of the board, and they can be quite powerful. Uh, you also have them work in your stations, so you can gain uh, a benefit and get some points for that, too. So, Zot is quite blue. I don't want to just follow the players uh, the whole time, because that gets a bit dull for you to watch. At the same time, though, oh, nope, 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 I didn't do a thing. I must always drop to my hand. Oh, dear, hang on. I'm just going to shuffle this, and I'm going to hit one. Actually, I'll hit four. There we go. That's better. Um, Okay. Sorry, back to blue. Blue is going to go... Oh. Uh, craftsman. Uh, and then he discarded his Guernsey. Oh, no, I'd already done that part, so I just paid the $6. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, but the thing is that hiring people is pretty important. And I don't think he'd pass up on the opportunity to hire someone the first turn of the game. So he's going to just follow along, discard his Guernsey for $2, and then spend 6 And he gets the other craftsman. Um, you cannot take workers from the row with the job market token in it. Um, so there's no more people that can be acquired until somebody goes to Kansas City. Uh, they then draw a single card... And they have a black Angus now. They have the same hand. That's crazy. Um, I'm going to come here so that I can trade in two jerseys for $4. You'll notice the other action here, which is remove a hazard tile from the board for $7. I don't have $7, so I can't do that. I don't get to take an auxiliary action, though. You have to forfeit all the local actions. In order to do that. So, say la vie. Um, at least I have $6 to do things with a bit later on. And plus, I got rid of two cards that were the same. And I got... It's whatever. I can't really be too salty this early on in the game. Even if the deck is screwing me over. Um, yeah. We're just going to keep following each other, I guess. Um, because two jerseys for $4 is just a good deal. Everyone likes that deal. You had three dollars left? Yes, you did. Okay. Um now he could build take a hazard if he wanted to. Are there any of the four pointers out there yet? No, they're all three pointers. It's not worth it. If he had something that gave him a bonus for having a hazard, I would do it. But the tiles are now only worth three points. They're not worth four. I'm not really gonna spend seven dollars for a three point hazard. Uh, so he draws to fill his hand. And he's got a worse hand now. Oh, dear. Or oh, cow, if you will. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go right to the cattle market. I'm going to skip this space. I'm going to go boop, boop. Discard a cow for two bucks. And now I have a choice to make. Well, actually, I don't have a choice to make. Because I only have one cowboy. The only two things I can buy are a three cow or a four cow. And I can't afford a four cow. That's 12 bucks. Uh, but I will take the three point Ayrshire for six bucks. Done. Uh, I do need to draw a card. Come on, Guernsey. Damn it. Um, he needs a green TP before the end of the game in order to meet his objective. So white's actually going to, or, sorry, blue's going to stop here. They're going to claim a TP, this green one here. You can take anyone you want to, but that one gives him a buck. 
And then you get to take an auxiliary action, including a double if he has one. At the beginning of the game, there's only two auxiliary actions available to you. Take a buck, or draw a card, discard a card. And he's going to draw and discard. Really? Fine. Wow, game. You do not like blue for some reason. Um, I'm going to stop here so that I can move my train again. Whoop. And then I get to take an auxiliary action if I so choose, and I do so choose. I too will take draw and discard. Oh, let's discard that jersey I just drew. Lame. All right, blue. Um, blue really badly wants to try to get rid of some of these cards. But the thing is that he can't. No, he can't. He can go up here to the cattle market and discard a Black Angus for two bucks. Um, he is going to buy uh, the Brown Swiss for six. Chuck it in the discard pile. Again, he can't buy for cheaper or buy any of the fancier cows because he didn't have enough money. And he's only got one cowboy, the one printed on his sheet. He draws a card, and he did get a little bit of a better hand. It's a little better. All right. We're going to go to Kansas City for the first time in the game. This happens multiple times. It is a five-step process that is relatively simple. Uh, and we're going to go through it right now. So, step one. Pick one of these two tiles and put them out on the board. I like the idea of a four-point drought, so we're going to put that out on the board. Two, put one of these out. It's going to be a cowboy, shocker. Now, this moves the job market down because it always fills from left to right, or does it? I just need to double-check that when you go to Kansas City that it doesn't actually just start filling again from the top. Um, okay. It always has to go on the road where the job market tile is. Okay, perfect. So the job market token slides down, and we pick a cowboy. This token is very important. When it shifts all the way down and off the board, the game is over. That's what triggers the end of the game. Here, gee, I wonder if it's going to be an engineer or an engineer. It's an engineer. Hit refill. Let me shuffle up all three of these bags. That'll be what's there for blue. Next, I cash in my cards. So, I have two black Anguses, so only one of them counts. I earn $5 reduce. I can increase that to six by cashing in a certificate. Which then let me go to Colorado Springs, but I'd have to give back a lot of my money. I think no. I think no. Yeah, I think we'll go to Wichita. Okay. So, the next thing that happens uh, is actually I need to get paid. So that was $5. Is I need to decide where I'm going to deliver my cows. Um, Kansas City and San Francisco are both infinite spaces. You can put as many discs there as you want to. All the others are one per player. And each one uh, gives certain benefits and certain penalties, depending on how the game works out. So first of all, you can only go to a place that is worth your value of cows or less. So my cows are worth five bucks. Which means I have three choices, Wichita, Topeka, and Kansas City. I can't go to Colorado Springs. I could if I spent uh, my certificate. However, for every X you have to cross, you have to pay a dollar back. Uh, that's three dollars. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Um, notice how many of these have, if you're on, on one side, if you get both sides, something happens. Kansas City gives you six extra dollars, but also costs you six points at the end of the game. Six points is a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. 
if you had like a massive lead, you might want to do that. But not for me, Jack. If we go to Topeka and we later go to Wichita, we would lose three points at the end of the game, but we'd also get an objective card. That's not terrible. I could also just go to Wichita, which in most of cost me one point at the end of the game. I'm going to go to Topeka so I can save the maximum amount of money. So take any disc off my player board that doesn't have a black border around it. And I'm going to take off that one. This now means if I take an auxiliary action, I get $2 instead of one. Lastly, choo choo, chugga 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 choo choo. Uh, and then we draw a new hand of four cards. And then that's going to Kansas City. Very simple. Also, the sound effects are obligatory. If you don't believe me, um, I'll add it to the manual. Oh, look, the manual went away. What a tragedy. Uh, it is now Blue's turn. Blue doesn't have to go to Kansas City yet. Blue still has one more space, and I think Blue's going to take advantage of it. Because he gets to leapfrog my train, which means he can go to Wichita for free now, if he so chose. And he gets to take an auxiliary action. He's going to try to draw and then discard. Perfect. This is the best possible hand you can have uh, early on in the game, which is $7. But you'll eventually get a bigger hand and more cards, and then you can earn more money. Nice. I do have two crafts and options. I could build a level two building. What's a level two building here? For every cowboy, you draw a card and discard a card and then move three up to three spaces. That's fantastic. Is it up to three or definitely three? Let me look that up to confirm it really quickly here. Is it up to three or up to three? Perfect. Yeah, I love this card. Uh, I actually will go right here. Discard a Dutch belt. That gives me two more dollar dues. And then uh, a building is $2 per worker it takes to build it. It takes two workers, so it's $4. Easy peasy. And I just have to decide where to put this. This hand is very important. It means if they would like to... Uh, wait, not this one. This one is done. This is the one I wanted. Sorry. Which means if they would like to uh, cross past my tile, the blue player, you'd have to pay me two bucks. Uh, the green and black hands are the same in the two-player game, but if you play at other player counts, they're different. Um, so I want to put this somewhere where he's likely to pass it. Um, I'm going to put it right here. Because he's not going to forfeit $4 to avoid paying me $2. Uh, plus, it's a nice card that I can stop at whenever I want to. Now, Blue can't use my building as printed, but he could use it for auxiliary actions. But that's kind of stupid. You really wouldn't want to do that most of the time. Uh, I drop to fill my hand. And uh, it is now Blue's turn. Now, it's time for Blue to go to Kansas City. Uh, so, again, step one. Blue or green TP. Uh, a green one, I think. Engineer or Cowboy. Um, the market's going to be flooded with Engineers, so we're going to take the Cowboy. Engineer or Engineer. Uh, engineer. Uh, refill. He's going to cash in his hand for seven, but he could trade in a certificate and get eight. And eight would let him go to Santa Fe. However, 
He'd have to pay three dollars to get it that far. That's not that great. So we got, what was it, seven dollars, right? Um, he could go to Wichita. And I think he will, because Wichita doesn't cost him anything. Uh, he's going to try something a bit different, though. He's going to try taking this uh, extra auxiliary action, which is uh, spend a dollar to move your train to space. That can be quite powerful. He then draws a fresh hand of four cards, and then... Chugga 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 choo choo. And he's then gonna have to shuffle his deck because it's actually empty. Blue is done. Both players have now made one trip to Kansas City. Um what wants to check out his brand new building, I think. Yes, that would give him first crack at... and uh, He could get the Engineer before Blue can. Or White can. Or Blue can. Yeah, he's White. Um, which is too good. So he's going to go here first. Um, he can now discard a card. He can draw a card and then discard. Which he will do after he shuffles his deck, of course. Um, I'm going to discard the jersey because I'm going to get rid of the Guernsey up there. And then I can do up to three more spaces, but I'm just going to move one. I'm going to discard this Guernsey for two more dollars. And now I can afford to buy the Engineer, which I'm going to do instantaneously. I wish I would have kept the jersey because then I could have discarded it to get uh, a benefit from my certificate, but I didn't think to do that. Oh, well. And I draw a card. And it's whatever. Okay. Very good turn if I do say it so myself. Now. If blue is going to build any level one building, it wouldn't be this one. It would be one of these two. Um, you know what? This is a really good way of getting rid of pairs. And he's got enough money. He's going to come up here and spend $2. He's going to put this one out. And he wants to make sure he puts this somewhere where he can get the most benefit from it. I think this is the perfect place to have right before Kansas City because it lets you get rid of a pair if you really need to. And then forces you to go to Kansas City, but you'd probably want to do that anyway. I think that's really smart. No, we're going to put it here. Just so that I at least have the option uh, of having one more turn before I go to Kansas City. I think that's smart. Okay. Turn is over. White. Um... He's going to go one space. He's going to discard this pair of uh, Guernseys for $4. And then uh, he can't afford to claim a hazard. So he's going to draw two cards. Mother. And then his turn is done. Really, game? Really? Uh, blue Nuggets to go uh, as far as he wants. He's just going to go one space for now. He's going to take a certificate. And he's going to move one space on the train. However, he'd love to, to go to the station. And I think he actually will. Yeah, he will. He goes here. So, he pays $2. And then he gets to do two things. First of all, he has to send someone to go do the work. That's going to be... Oh, no, you go under that space because uh, you get this. Don't worry, I'll explain what all this means here in a second. So 
Craftsman goes there. He's now permanently working there. Uh, I then take a disc off my player board, um, which is going to be this one, because this gives me an immediate two uh, certificates, and I don't want to miss out on getting certificates. This is also worth two points for every building at the end of the game. So now I have a real reason to start going more into buildings as the blue player, because it's going to pay off in the end. Um, so that concludes... Um, his turn. Oh no, doesn't he also... Yeah, he did both parts. He did. Okay. Great. Let me make sure that what I did is kosher. I just want to make sure that I didn't cheat a little bit. It would be a minor cheat, but it would be a cheat nonetheless. Um, I need train station. You do put the disc on there first. So yes, you do place the disc first. So I did not cheat. Hooray for me. Basically, otherwise I would have lost the certificate. But now I was able to clear that out first. So that's good. Uh, white, what do you want to do on your turn? My whitey McFriend. Um, he could get a TP. Which would be worth a buck. Uh, this is kind of a crappy square for him right now. He doesn't want to spend money just to move two spaces. He wants to get rid of the cards he has. But he can't. He can get rid of a Black Angus. That's not terrible. So he's going to go 1-2. Um, he can buy one of the number threes. Uh, he's going to take the Blast Brown Swiss. And then he draws a card, and at least it's a better hand than he had. Um, that's for sure. Now, this is where things become irritating for Blue. Blue has to go one of two ways, either past the drought or past me. He either pays me $2 or pays the bank $4. I think he'd rather pay me $2. So he's going to go up here. So he loses two and white gains two. Uh, he's going to discard his Guernsey so that he can afford to hire someone. He can't buy this guy because the job market hasn't made him available yet. Now, who does he want? He's got a real incentive to go heavy on buildings, which would seem to necessitate getting a craftsman. But cowboys are how you get better cows. But I think he's going to take the craftsman uh, for seven. Done. Um. Oh, he does need to draw a card to fill his hand. And wow. I thought white was getting screwed, but really, the game really hates blue. Um, I'm going to come here to go one. Note that I can also put a station here if I want to, but I don't have to leave my uh, worker behind, and I don't get a tile. I think that's right. Or do you have to put a worker behind even if you don't get a tile? Yeah, you, you don't have to if you can't get a tile from it. But at least it makes my life a little bit cheaper, right? Uh, then I get to take an auxiliary action uh, twice if I want to. I'd rather draw a card and then discard. Are you freaking kidding me? Every Dutch belt in my damn hand, in my damn deck at one time. Game. Why do you hate me? Or hate, I guess it hates both players equally now that I think about it. This is kind of a no-brainer uh, to discard two of his jerseys to earn four dollars. Uh, he can't afford to buy a hazard. That's fine. 
He then draws two cards. Eh, at least we're both getting screwed by bad luck. I feel a little better. Oh, White has to go to Kansas City. He can't go backwards. So he's going to go here. Um, He's going to put out another drought. Really hammer home. You want to pass my tile so you can pay me $2. Um, He's going to put out an engineer. And then he's going to put out another engineer. Then he cashes in his hand. He's going to get five bucks for the belt, the Angus, and the jersey. Um, he could go to Wichita. It would cost him three points at the end of the game, but it would also give him an objective card. Which is probably going to be worth more than three points. So I think he'll do that. He doesn't want to spend a certificate yet. Um, so he gets to keep all of his money. He then goes to number five. He's going to take a sheet off his board. He's had such bad luck with drawing. He's going to remove this. So he gets really good at drawing and discarding. And he's going to slap that bad boy here in Wichita. He is going to lose three points at the end of the game. But he also gets to pick an objective card. Um, he's going to take this one. Now, this actually goes in his discard pile. Whenever he draws it, he can play it for a bonus right away. And he'll need two buildings and a hazard to get his three points back. So, not a big deal at all, I don't think. And then he draws four more cards. There's the Ayrshire. And it is now Blue's turn. Um, Blue's already got a TP. Claiming it for one dollar isn't that smart. Two dollars to go two spaces isn't a bad benefit, though. So I think he'll do that. One, two. One, two. And then um, he can take an auxiliary action, which in this case is draw one, discard one. Uh, he'll just discard the jersey he just drew. Damn it, game. Oh, well. Uh, oh, we didn't go. We didn't refill the tiles. So important, we didn't go. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo, choo. There we go. All right, back to the beginning. Um, this is kind of a dick move, but I kind of like it. Like, okay, let me be real here. It's really a dick move, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to come here. I'm going to spend me... Uh, two dollars. I'm gonna put this building right here, and this is this is a major league dick move. I completely acknowledge that, but I'm doing it anyway because then it becomes pay me four dollars or pay the bank six dollars. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a good cash cow. I will never go to this space and actually use it for its effects because its effects are stupid. Like, oh, I can discard an objective to get two certificates or move backwards on the train for three bucks. It's not worth it. Like, there's reasons you might want to do it, like if you pass the station, but I'm I'm not going to do that. That would be dumb. So that is White's turn. Back to Blue. Um, Blue is not going to be able to afford a cow, but he doesn't want to get rid of this Angus. So he's just going to come up there to get rid of the Angus. As a reminder, he doesn't get to take an auxiliary action because you have to forfeit both actions um, in order to do that. So then, oh, and he got a great hand now. Uh, he's pretty happy about that. Um, right. White's turn. Yeah. 
So White's going to go here. He's going to take a certificate. And then he's going to push his train for two spaces because he has two engineers. I'm trying to get to this one first. This is a great benefit. I'm hoping that I can beat uh, White there. But we'll see. Or Blue there. That is his turn. Um, he doesn't have a pair, so he doesn't really have a reason to go here. So he's just going to go one, two, and go here. Oh, no. He could jump in there and steal. No, he can't. Yes, he can. Ugh. Dang it, Blue, you sneaky bastard. He's going to go. I don't think he can do that, though. Let me make sure. Because I'm wondering. I don't know that he can actually. When can he go to the turnout space? You have to come from the space with a switch. Perfect. So I can't actually go right here. I have to go here. There we go. So white strategy paid off. He eventually, he essentially blocked him. He could try going backwards though. Um, that's for sure. Uh, and then he gets to take an auxiliary reaction that he chooses. Um, you might as well spend a buck and move again. That way he can go to Albuquerque uh, when he goes to Kansas City, which is a pretty good place to go. All right, White's turn. Um, I'd like to hire someone, but I don't have enough money. And I don't even have a Guernsey here. Oh no, I can hire someone for five. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I definitely want to get a cheap engineer. That's so good. Yeah, $5. And I get to take an engineer. I can now immediately discard a jersey for $2, which I will do, and then I draw a replacement. Eh, whatever. Okay. Good turn. Now I'm going to have to eventually decide who's going to take over the station when I go here. And it's probably going to be the craftsman, to be honest with you. I just don't think I'm going to be building that many more buildings um, in the short term. Although it's important to note that there are no craftsmen in the market. So craftsmen are very difficult to come by these days. Uh, blue's going to go here. Uh, let's put out a green one. Why not? Let's put out a cowboy. And then, you guessed it, another cowboy. He's going to discard his hand, which is worth uh, $7. However, he's going to also spend three certificates so that he can go up to 10 Because that lets him deliver to Albuquerque. And Albuquerque is a very important spot. Because it lets you put one of your black-edged uh, pieces on the board. Which can include things like moving faster and increasing your hand limit. And he definitely wants to do that. So he's going to deliver to Albuquerque. And he's going to remove... This space and he's going to pay $5. But it is worth it because now he can have a hand of five cards. Plus, if he goes to El Paso next, you can get six bonus points at the end of the game. That's pretty spicy. And then... Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo, choo. And then he draws five cards. 
Look at this glorious freaking hand. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Um, I don't know I went from swearing to not swearing to swearing again, but it be like that sometimes. I'm going to discard these two jerseys to get $4. And then I need to reshuffle my deck. I can't afford uh, to claim a hazard, so I won't. But I will draw two more cards. Okay, so I can play this right now. If I do, I then get to draw three cards and discard three cards. And I think I'm going to do that. Now, this does come with a penalty. If I cannot complete this, for whatever reason, I actually lose two points at the end of the game. But I'm pretty confident I can manage it. I am pretty confident. Uh, what was I going to do? I got to draw a card. That's right. Mm. Oh, but I get my benefit, don't I? Hang on. I'm going to put that back. Because I get to draw my three cards and then discard three first. Uh, one. two, three, and then draw another card to fill my hand at the end. Oh, look at that beautiful hand. Mmm. Nice. Uh, refill those spaces, please. Okay, blue. Um... He doesn't really want to discard his Dutch belt, but he will go here to build. And it'll cost him four dollars to build a level two. And I think he will. Uh so he's gonna spend four dollars. He's gonna put out this level two. He wants to put it somewhere that white is likely to have to go, so he's gonna put it right here. He's like, yeah, I might be giving you four dollars, but you're gonna be giving me two right back. Um, and that concludes his turn. Because I ain't going to discard a Dutch belt when I could use it instead for money down the line. Um. That'd be $2. And then he could take a double action. And get two more. Yeah, I think I will do that. So we're going to go here. I'm going to take the green TP. Because there's this $2 token above the space, I get $2. And then I get to take an auxiliary action. I get the super powered one for two more dollars. Done. Blue's going to come over here. He'll take a certificate. And then he gets to move uh, one space with his train. So he's going to go here. <clears throat> then he's done. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. I can get a level 4 cow, and I do need a level 4 cow. Yeah, I'm going to discard my Black Angus. It disrupts my perfect hand, but this is more important. And then it's $12 to get a... Wait, are they worth the same amount of points? Yeah. To get a West Highland cow. And that's going to cost me all my money. Worth every cent. Um, because that'll guarantee me that I'll get at least this victory point. Total at the end, I then draw a card. And I got another Black Angus. So really that, that hand could not have gone better for me. Uh, blue. Yeah, he's just going to go like this. He's going to be pissed about it. But actually, if he doesn't want to help me, um, and he can see that I'm broke, which means I actually couldn't 
without discarding cards, I actually couldn't take the, the station spot. Oh, but I can still get the $2 so I need anyway. That's true. So the question is, you don't have to pay more than you can afford. So uh, both these routes are now worth $4 for him. And I think he'd rather pay the bank $4 than pay me. And I don't think hazards count as spaces. Let me make sure that that is an accurate statement. Um, um, oh, no, hazards do count as faces. I see. So the most farthest he can move is here, and then he'd have to pay $4 to the bank. Or he could pay here to get $4 and then go here. But as much as he'd like to hire someone, and he would, he can't afford it. I think there's more possibilities if he goes here. So he's gonna go up here. He loses four dollars. Blue gains it, or white gains it. Then he gets a draw card and discard one. Um, he's gonna discard the jersey because I have a cunning plan. He then he gets to move extra spaces. He's gonna go two extra spaces, and he's gonna discard both of the Dutch belts. Flip the deck. Shuffle the deck. Uh, get four dollars. Draw two. Eh, it didn't pay off. That's fine. Uh, I've got other ways to get rid of cards as I need to, so I'm not unhappy about that. Uh, he cannot afford a hazard, so his turn is done. All right. He goes here. He could move up to three spaces. But I think he's only going to move one so he can take this tile. Or he could go to Albuquerque. Mm. Albuquerque would be, or going here would be tempting. Then if I get the right hand, I could go to El Paso. But I don't feel really feel rushed to go to El Paso yet. And this is going to be worth more because it's a permanent certificate. So I'm going to go here. I could go up to three spaces. I'm only going to go one because you have to stop there. Uh, I spend two dollar dues. I have to send somebody out to be an employee. Um, I'm actually going to send the station man. I'm going to send an engineer out to do it. Um, I then take this. And I'm going to clear out the move a space for a dollar. Now, this is a permanent certificate worth... So every time I deliver cows, I now get a bonus dollar. So that's pretty handy. Plus, for every two stations I have, I get three bonus points. So it's definitely going to be a big station game for me. If I can manage it. Um, no cards went anywhere. I do get to take a, uh, an up to double action or just a single action. Um, is spending $1 to move one space really worth it? I don't think it is. I'm going to draw two and discard two because I think there's another three in this deck. And if not, I can just discard the two that I got. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Uh, blue. Wait. 
Where does blue want to go? Blue wants to go right there. Uh, yeah, he's going to go one, two, three. Gets rid of a pair of Guernseys and Guerns, what is it, $3? Yeah. Uh, he then gets to move one space and do the action here. Uh, he's only got one Station Master, but one's all he needs. Um, he then spends $4. He puts this disc out there. He then claims the tile. And he sends in his craftsman. Now, he might eventually come to regret sacrificing his only craftsman. But this is a permanent bonus of two Station Masters. Now, there's no additional bonus, though. That's it. But he gets two certificates, so who cares? Two certificates is pretty great. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah. He is done. Uh, no, he's not. He's got to draw two cards. And his hand actually got worse. Oh, well. The rest of the turn was worth it. All right. White, you're going to Kansas City. Um... He's going to put out a blue TP. It's better than a two-point rock slide. He's going to put out an engineer. Something important just happened, uh, which I'll explain here in a second. Uh, because we crossed this space, the cattle market gets filled up to whatever the player count is. So this is two players, is seven cards. We need to draw four cards. Another Ayrshire, another West Highland, another Texas Longhorn, and another Ayrshire. Then another Cowboy comes out. We discard our hand. Our hand is worth 10. It's pretty great. I have a permanent certificate, so it's actually worth up to 11. I could go to El Paso this turn. But I'm just going to go to Albuquerque. It costs me one less. So basically, I just get the full $10, and my bonus dollar ends up going to pay for my... Uh, to get to Albuquerque. Maybe I actually have to pay $2. Do you have to be on the space or past the space? to deliver it for the cheaper sum. If it's directly beneath, okay. So then I don't have to pay to go to Santa Fe. I would have to pay to go to Albuquerque. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna do what he did. I'm gonna upgrade my hand size. One, two, three, four, five. And boom. Very nice. And then chugga 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 chew chew. And then I'm gonna refill the market. Um friends, I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode. Um we're gonna finish this game next episode. Um, but we're about halfway through, so I think this is a great place to take uh, to take a break. And don't worry, we will come back with more uh, Great Western Trail next time. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, though, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.